if you're running in the factory stock, street stock, pure stock type classes around the country, you're probably required to run uh, open chamber cylinder heads in some instances. We get a lot of questions about which open chamber heads to run and if we do open chamber heads and so on. Well, yes, we do open chamber heads. We've been dealing with them for about 25 or 30 years now. And there are some definite advantages to running certain heads and some definite disadvantages to running a couple of particular heads. The heads that you do not want to run in the open chamber variety is anything that has CONV on it. Uh, this is a set of 47 heads. We see that CONV sometimes on 441s and also 993s. The CONV, I don't know what it stands for, but I do know that the intake ports are smaller and the exhaust ports are smaller. So in a racing application, it's not going to make as much power. Okay? The other cylinder heads that you don't want to run are 624s or the 336s. The reason you don't want to run those heads is because of the valve drop area. This is a this is a 336 head, excellent casting, has everything you want in a head except for the fact that it has this really steep bowl cut underneath the valve seat. Well, that's going to really wreck airflow if you're running a 194 valve, which most of you guys have to run. This head would work okay with a 202 valve, but very, very rarely you can run a 202 valve in an open chamber head. Even if you could run a 202 valve, they're not going to work as well as a 194 for a 3,000 pound car with a two barrel. So if you want to spend your money and go slower, run a CONV head, run a 624 or a 336, but I don't think you really want to do that. The silver heads that you want to run are the 441s, the 993s, and the 47s. The 993s and the 47s are essentially the same cylinder head. They're the castings that we like the most. The reason that we like them the most is this is a 993 head right here. This, this is a, a stock casting that's been magnet flux and pressure tested. The 993s have induction hardened exhaust seats, uh, so they wear a little bit better. They're generally in a little bit better condition than the 441s. The 441s are a little bit more casting. They're a little bit softer. So when we get those in as cores, the seats are a little bit more beat out and so on. And most of these things we're putting 194, 15 valves in. So the seats have to be perfect. So when we get castings, we qualify them, we mag them, pressure test them. They have to be able to get a 194, 15 valve in. We have pretty high standards for the cores we do because you have pretty high standards. You want a head that's going to last you for several years and it's going to run up front. And that's, that's what we produce as far as the open chamber heads. Well, this is a, uh, a 993 head that's, that we kind of keep in stock. Um, this one has undercover porting done to it, which obviously you can't see. And the valve seats are machined for 194.15. Uh, we have guide liners in. This particular head here is machined for screw and studs. Most of you can run screw and studs and guide plates. However, if you do run in a class where you can't run screw and studs and you can't run a guide plate, then we just keep the push rod holes stock and then the push rod hole becomes your guide plate. And we can pull the press in stud out and put one of the Mr. Gasket uh, screw in type stud in there. Okay. Now, um, one of the things that we do not do with these heads is we do not put exhaust seats in. This particular head is not really designed to have an exhaust seat put in. We see a lot of heads come in here that have exhaust seats in them, and it's not uncommon to have them leak. So in, in a little bit, I'll show you an example of an open chamber head that we got in from a customer who was running on his car. He wanted to do us, us to do undercover porting to it, and the exhaust seat leaked. So we'll get to that uh, in a second. So if you're looking for either bare heads, we typically have these in stock, the undercover porting done, uh, bronze guides in them for screwing studs, and you can take this head, run with it, do your surfacing and CC, and machine your spring seats, put your parts in, uh, or we have complete heads available. The complete heads would have everything, valves, springs, retainers, locks, studs, guide plates, they be surfaced and CC to your specifications. We can also help all the camshafts. We have a database where we keep track of every camshaft we sold for about the last six years. So if you're looking for a cam, even a limited lift cam, like a 390 410 or a 447 lift, whatever, 
we've got you covered as far as the camshafts are concerned too. So anything in the way of open chamber cylinder heads, we've got you covered. Give us a call. We can supply you with bare heads, complete heads, and we can also modify your heads. So now we'll go ahead and I'll show you that uh, one head that does have uh, the leaky uh, valve seat uh, insert, and that's what you want to stay away from if you want a good quality set of heads that's going to last you for a number of years. The open chamber heads and uh, the double hump uh, heads that we use are such good castings that we don't have to put exhaust seats in them in order to get a 1.5 valve in. Uh, we select castings that have good exhaust seats, so that's not necessary. The reason we don't want to put uh, seats in is that uh, they can be problematic. Uh, you have to put a shallow seat in because we put a really deep seat in the open chamber as you go into water and that can cause problems. Even when you do put a seat in and apparently don't go into water, sometimes they still leak. Uh, this is an example of a head that a customer sent to us that had seat inserts in and it leaks. So if you want to come over here, I'll show you. So the only way you would know if a seat leaks would be to test it, the cylinder head after the seat inserts have been put in. So here's an open chamber head, and there's your leak. So you'll never catch that by magnifluxing. That's why we always pressure test the cylinder heads uh, before we start in on them, and they get pressure tested at least once during uh, the machining process so that when you get the heads, you know that you have a good quality piece that'll last you for many years.